What's up with it? What's up with it? What it do? What it do? What it do? Y'all already know what time it is. I had to hit you guys with a pre-record because I'm kind of busy right now fucking with Patreon and uh, also um, doing other videos just as well. And, you know, I've got things to do. You know, so I'm going to come back at you guys more than likely tomorrow. You're getting this on the 1st of July, you know. Happy 4th of July to you guys. Earl, I'm going to say that early. You know, these motherfuckers are banging fire, working shit. So y'all may hear some shit. But just know that um, it's the, ho it's the holiday. It's the 4th of July for those who celebrate it. You know, happy 4th to y'all. Drink safe. Smoke safe. Um, fuck safe. Wear your condoms. Um, shit. Blow up. Um, what they had, Roma candles fights and shit. We used to have Roma candle fights and shit. Do that shit safe. Don't fuck your eyes up, youngsters. I'm telling you, you want to see later on in life. You know, you want to see what's coming ahead. You know, especially you want to see this game, real game, real shit, real spit. You know, wrists, elbows, knees, feet, and everything to the back of her neck, holding down, locking it down, submerging down their game. Please like, share, subscribe for me. Notification bell. As soon as I'm done with these videos, piping high status, you're going to get it down your phone into your ear, all ear candy game, big facts. Video for education purposes only, fair use only. Go to the description below my about section. You know how to get at me. All the links are there. Get at me in the Patreon, fellas. It's hot and it's heavy. It's going. It's lit. Get on that $10 tier. You can join that $5 tier or you can get them both combined. Five and the $10, $15. I ain't beating your pocket up. Enjoy some game that you can apply and get out here and do your thing with. Or um, get on that... um. Raw and uncut band from YouTube type shit. You can go go and um, check that file. It's here out just as well. You know, <clears throat> fair use for everything I do. Fair use for everything I do. Now we're going to talk about it, fellas. Let me see. I turn my phone down. Shit, turn my other phone down. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Um, we're going to talk about this shit, fellas. You dig? <laughs> Raw with no filter. <laughs> Listen to her, fellas. She's going to talk to y'all. She's going to tell y'all how it is so you guys can definitely understand. You know, and this is my type of bitch. Where she at? Look her up. Tell her to get a KC. KC trying to see what she up to, man. Right? We'll get some shit popping. Get it jumping and shit. You know what I'm saying? I love that lane she in, man. I epitomize that motherfucking lane she in. But listen to what she's saying, fellas. Don't take it to heart. Don't get in your feelings. Don't be a bitch. Just pay attention to what she's saying, fellas, and you already know what's going on. KC been telling you this. And you got other, you know, people out here doing content and dating coaches by uh, relationship providers and whatnot, giving you their view of the game, but I'm giving you mine, you know. Let's roll footage. Let's go. What's the smartest way to cheat on a man? Don't let them find out. How? Easy. Just like don't leave any evidence. Don't let them find out. Always act the same. If you was to cheat on a man right now, how would you go about it? I'm cheating on a man right now. Huh? <laughs> How? Um, because he doesn't know anything I do. I keep everything the same. I don't get too nice if I start cheating. I just stay consistent. That's what we've come to. If so I'm mad at him, I act the same way. If like he th did some real good, I act the same way. I act the same way all the time. So you Nick get curious when you start doing extra. Shit. Like, why is this buying me? Shit? Why is she doing this? They get curious. Uh, no curiosity. So you fing two guys at the same time right now? No, I'm not fing two guys, but I got two guys that are my. How is that possible? What do you mean, how is that possible? One is your and one is your but one is not getting played? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I said, I'm not f***ing two niggas. That don't mean two niggas not f***ing me. <laughs> What's your craziest confession? A confession? I don't know. What's the craziest thing you ever did? The craziest thing I ever did? I don't do a lot of crazy stuff. So they do it to you? What do you mean they do it to me? I mean, since you said... I'm not f***ing two niggas. That don't mean two niggas not f***ing me. <laughs> niggas do the crazy shit to you or you do the... Hey, the interview dude, game, let's look at motherfucking man, ain't he? <laughs> she just sat here and told you that she ain't fucking nobody. You know what I'm saying? They fucking her. What's the crazy thing you done? I, I don't do crazy things. Motherfucker, she's telling you she do, she do things. She telling you that's what she do. You ask some crazy questions. Move on with the questions. Fellas, you must understand. <clears throat> when women are um, actually giving you guys the insight, which they know... Deep down, they don't want to give you guys an insight. You have to figure it out. It become like a investigative moment, like a 
Whereas the Spectre Gadget, that Spectre Gadget type shit, you have to do your um, research and see what the hell she's talking about. That's where game comes in, fellas. You must understand that. And uh, the scent thing, didn't I always tell you, fellas, these women can always re their smells that you're used to, that you're accustomed to, in-house smells um, on their bodies, um, the way they, um, you know, the way they, um, you know, do certain things that, that that keeps, you know, that keeps their um, freshness going and whatnot. I can say it like that. Um, soaps, toothpastes, deodorants, perfumes, the things that you're basically used to. A lot of these women be having travel bags put to the side. With the same shit they got at home, they got it on the side where they when they creep out, they do their thing there, they hit the shower at dude's house after they getting smashed out, fucked in, throat. Yeah, we know the gainers, you know, we going yeah, we know what it is, right? And they put all that shit back on, they freshen themselves back up. They get back to being consistent with what you are used to. You get it? A lot of women who gets caught, they get caught even because. They wanted to get caught. They got tired of your shit. They kept trying to push you away. You didn't want to go nowhere. Oh, baby, we can work it out. We can make things. We can do. You trying to do all this shit. You trying to eat the pussy, eat the ass. You want to lick the feet. You want to go buy all this bouquet of flowers. You want to take her on trips. You want to do all this suck ass shit when she's steady trying to push you away. She can get caught that way. I want to get rid of you, motherfucker. You ain't trying to leave. So look, this is what it is. Hopefully you get the nuts to leave. Some of them get caught because they're, they they would throw off their pattern on the way they move. And that's because they are so sexually attracted or sexually involved or they're sexually inclined with the next man, which means they feel in him more than they feel in you. And they will slip up and you will end up catching them in the act. So it's different ways for these women to get caught. If you're paying attention to the game and you know the game, and you know what's up. But a lot of you guys don't pay attention to the game. Y'all don't pay attention to what's really happening. You just listen to what she say. You argue with the bitch, get 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 her juices flowing to where the energy's pumping, and you y'all back and forth, back and forth, and you make up sex, and then you back on. You thinking it's cool because she got a smile on her face. She cooked your eggs the next morning, and everything. But she is. She's still the same motherfucker. She's still doing her thing. Now, what changed? I'm going to tell you what changed. Nothing. You still don't know shit. You get it? That's how it go. And that's because her consistency level was on. Remember, I've always told you guys, a woman can do what they do on the side, and you will never know these things if she's not willing to let you know these things. You know, if you're the guy that is forking over, you know, um, support your paying for shit, you you um you know you're basically doing what the next dude ain't gonna do. He probably got good sex game. He probably got good charisma, good conversation. So he's good in that department. He ain't got to spend his money like you. So she'll keep you on the side and she would try her best not to get caught. That's where the consistency comes in at. That's what she's talking about. So she got a guy that she's highly attracted to because she's attracted to his resources and the shit that he can do. Then she got a guy that she's attracted to sexually. It's two guys. You get it? Let's get back to the video. Then we're going to jump to the next. Let's go. Crazy shit. Like, what's going on? You said it got to be niggas. Oh, you got girlfriends and all? Yeah. Why you being so minimal? Why can't it be both? Nah, I'm, I don't know. I'm just asking. Me and some girls, we did some real crazy things. Well, like what? We be taking each other down. Oh, where? my friends. Huh? I took down all my female friends, minus one. Hold on, you took down all your female friends? Minus one. She's Shut my up? best friend, though. I promise you. Are you about, she about to be nice on the list? No. Why not? You somebody tell all your secrets to with no feelings attached. <laughs> and she doing her thing on the side with the chicks. And she and she got it going with the chicks just as well. She's very sexually active, seems promiscuous, promiscuous, and um you know, a lot of guys gonna be out, okay, okay, see Maddie. You know, they don't want to give me the credit and give me the love for it, man, but that's majority of the women, fellas. Yeah. So when they get ancient, when they get um throwback, when they get older. You dig once that OG status come in and shit, you must always know where they come from, how they used to be. 
the experiences they had. Doesn't it make them a bad person? In my eyes, no. It makes them human beings is living life. That's how I look at it. Just involve me in it, baby. You dig? I got no other fire. Other than that, I ain't even got no problems with it. You know what I'm saying? But this is for you guys out here. Listen to what she's saying. All right? Especially in today's time. They make their own money. They get their own resources. Laws have been put in place for them, fellas. They're liberal. You know, they're free. They do what the fuck they want to do. So they're going to have them two or three guys on the side with you over here. And if you're um, beneficial enough, then you can stay over there. That's the reward you get. You get, you dig to stay in their life because you're beneficial. The other guys, they may benefit in certain areas. One guy may, may benefit and put the dick down. It's real shit. The other guy over here, he may benefit her on certain little, uh, you know, resources and shit. He he might be tied to certain things, so he can tie her in to certain shit, put her in, give her favors and all this type of shit. And you at home, you the homebody, you the in-house, you the in-house dick that she come home to when she's mad. She take care of everything, everything out in the world comes back on you, in-house dick. That's real game. Everything that she got going on in the world that's bad for her comes back on you, in-house dick. She takes it out on you. Why? It's because you're there. You're putting up with the shit. You ain't got the game to see everything clear. Your third eye ain't open. So you hit. Wow, wow, wow. Knocked out. Tyson status. You dig? <laughs> that's real game. But we're going to jump to this next video. And, um, the old hoes are giving outdated game to you young chicks. And he, 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 listen to what this woman is saying, fellas. We're going to come back on my commentary. And it is, it's crazy, man. It's, she she looks a fool. She looks a mess, man. She, this is fucked up. Let's go. Let me tell you something. Look, look at this. See, when you want to do something quick, you're getting that vehicle. See, I'm in this big truck. This a day. Baby, it's going to go down up in here. He going to snatch me up. Do she know what century we we in the 21st century, baby? She only see the 19th, uh, uh, 20th century. What what the fuck? We're in the 21st century. This is the year 2023. Ah, you wrong. That game you giving to these young chicks. Hey, you get in here, you take your panties off. He you know what's up. That's some 1960s and 1970s shit. When you're out on the cliffs of motherfucking where watching the uh the city cliff, you know. That are old school 1966 Greece shit. You know what I'm saying? They ain't no hot rods and shit out there with your bitch. You take the panties off. You over there fingering her. You finger popping her. You get it in. That shit's outdated. These young hoes ain't doing that no more. You got the game fucked up. They'll pull you in. They motherfucking whip. Yank your pants down. Suck you up. Fuck you up. Kick you out. Pump and dump you. Real shit, bro. The fuck you talking about? She's outdated like a motherfucker. Does she know these, these little young hunters, They way more fans. They walking around naked in thongs and shit and G-strings on a Wednesday at 2 o'clock in the afternoon on a hot sunny day. Fucking 85 degrees outside. They, they, they have intensified the whole game. I'm being honest. And you up here giving this kind of game? Thinking that this shit is relevant? No, you outdated like a motherfucker, baby. That shit ain't gonna go nowhere. What you saying? They laughing at you. Oh, grandma, you what? Shit, you crazy shit. Boy, we having dick sucking contests nowadays. Shit, these chicks will tell her that. The fuck, we cucumber contests. We we they get that. They, what the fuck? They way advanced with their sexuality now. They so advanced, these motherfuckers are in the pool parties. And I didn't, a subscriber sent me the video, a little chick in the pool party, man. A grown woman throwing her ass on a little boy. Little boy holding on that motherfucker, too. He ride. I said, damn. Little boy, like he ever been a 12 or 13. Probably younger than that. The skinny little dude. I'm like, damn. And you talking about getting in the back seat, removing your panties? Huh? That's old. These bitches ain't wearing no panties when they getting in that motherfucking car. 
the fuck? He's talking to KC, man. I know what the fuck go on in the car, man. I did back alleys, vacos, shit, vac vacant house when I was young. To, man, got it in. I mean, I mean, come on, man. Let's not. I mean, come on, man. How the shit? What? Yeah, she's outdated, fellas. And the young women, she's giving y'all bad advice. She's giving y'all bad. She's giving y'all game that ain't great. Motherfucker gonna look at you. You get in the car, taking your panties off. Your date gonna look at you like, man, what the fuck you on? Huh? You get in here, he, your panties are already removed. Johnny, I got something for you. He, huh? What you? He grabbed his head. He, Navigating to your motherfucking pussy and shit. You, huh? Finger. Oh, okay. You're naked. Something new, huh? Cool. Okay. Yeah. We can do all that when we get we going, baby. That shit ain't gonna work on KC. It may work on one of these little young guys. Oh, oh, oh. Or a beta. An older dude who ain't got the sex experience. Oh, oh, yeah, she ready. For, oh, yeah. Yeah. She been wanting to give it to you. She ain't have to get in the car and get naked and do all that old. Motherfucking old school 1960 throwback outdated ass scene. No. Just get it in. Get it out. Do what you do. Hell, fucking the church's chicken parking lot. Who gives a fuck? Right? That's where we at now. So it is what it is, right? Y'all already know what time it is. Go join that motherfucking Patreon. Fellas, like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And come fuck with me, man. I'm about this bitch. Holla.